this. I know. Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. Go ahead and smash that like button because y'all know we always got a dope one in store for y'all here today, man. Very informational. Don't skip through the video or you just bound to miss something, man. But make sure y'all going out here doing y'all own research. Don't believe anything you see on the internet so you can verify that yourself, you know. But look, man. Hopefully y'all been having a good day. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, and I got to tell y'all, look, I'm on my look. Day three of uh, this Yaki Awaken cleanse, man, and... I'm feeling good though. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm feeling real good, man. I keep y'all updated on how you know everything is going. If you want some updates, man, just hit my uh, my Instagram. I'm about to start posting on there about my journey with this new detox and cleanse. But it's damn, it's it's, it's worth it, man. We gotta make sure, man. Just like just like a garbage can. Your garbage can's outside. You dump a bunch of garbage in them. A bunch of garbage in them. After a while, they start stinking, corroding at the bottom. You need to always cleanse it at the end of the day you know what i'm saying so just to keep it up that's all i'm saying we put a bunch of trash in our bodies and it's our job to cleanse it but look let's get into this video though hopefully y'all having a good one let's get it good vibes only jesus was yeshua that was his name yeshua this was a real person that existed some people like oh he was just an imaginary person no 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 there's a lot of evidence that he actually existed he lived he breathed he had blood in his veins he was a walking man m-a-n wasn't some type of a flying guy with wings on his back he was a man he came through a womb he was just interesting though there was a little something different about this guy the fact that he was a virgin birth but when i looked deeper in to see well maybe this was a mistake or maybe it was a mistranslation i found through the apocrypha a text that his grandmother was also a virgin birth. Now this is really interesting. So we see this established bloodline here where through the grandmother comes his mother and then through his mother comes him, both through in vitro fertilization. This is advanced technology. Someone purposefully did this. Message. Can never eat Orioles again. Check this out, watch this to the end. Through this book and I see an Oreo and my high hungry ass is like, mm, that looks good, but hold on, wait, what? <laughs> There's no way the Leviathan crosses on this book. Yes, it is. What? Wow. Alright, so I guess Leviathan likes Oreos. These are now Leviathan's favorite cookie. I really want to know if this was done on purpose. It was. And for what purpose? It's Satanism. In ancient times, they honored Satan by consuming a symbol of him through blood or sacrifice. Still practiced today with the satanic Oreo. Wow. Be wise as serpents, my brothers and sisters. And hey, look that. 
yeah, hey, for my people that love Oreos, that's the last thing. My lips are ashy again. Excuse me. <laughs> but look, that's the last thing that you wanted to see. Your poor Oreos. You, hey, look, man. How many of y'all continue to eat them, man? And if so, how many? <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> we gotta get right, man. <laughs> that on the council of 13 people that take orders only from the Rothschild Tribunal in London, which they claim they take their orders directly from Lucifer. I was the manager of Zodiac Productions, which Zodiac Productions, its name's been changed since then, I'm not even sure what to call it now, but it's the largest music conglomerate in the world. It owns RCA Records, Columbia Records, Motown Records, owns almost all the concert booking agencies in the United States. But the name of the company that owns it is Brenner Enterprises, and Brenner Enterprises is owned by Chase Manhattan, Chick Manhattan's, owned by Standard Oil, and Standard Oil is owned by the Lords of London. You can track it on back. You kind of get the idea after a while. But I was the managing president of Zodiac Productions. It's one of my jobs as being one of these 13 people. Thus, I got to know many of the people who produce music and sing the music and play the music that you play. Now, one of the closest friends that I got was a man named David Crosby. I saw David the day before Christmas last year, talked with him. I said, David, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. I said, I already know the answers, but I've been gone for five years. I'd like to know if certain things are still the way they were when I left. I said, do they still take the master to the temple room? Dave said, yeah. I said, do they still have the coven conjure demons into the master? He said, of course. I said, now, i got to know something. What's the main reason for rock music? He said, come on, Lance, you know what the reason is. I said, please, David, I don't want to guess. Tell me what the main reason is. He said, the same as when you were in, so that we can play spells on people that we couldn't cast spells upon. When him and Crosby, Still Nash and Young produced the record 283, they ordered the Principality of Medea to order demons of rebellion to go into the record, and everybody that heard it would be rebellious against law and order and government. This is why a master's cut months in advance before it's released. On the full moon, it's taken in to a temple room about the size of this auditorium that is in every one of the major music companies behind locked doors up in the executive office. And it's placed on an altar sitting in the north of the room and a pentagram engraved in the floor. And 13 hand shows and witches and wiz wizards and a coven come in and conjure a principality or a power up, usually Regia or something like that, and order him to tell the demons under him to follow every record and every tape coming off of that master. You can't cast a spell on a Christian, but you can get a Christian to cast a spell on himself. Like me or Aphrodite. Stop and think how many songs are out there that you really like and you don't have any idea what the person was talking about. Music is not just a song. It is supernatural music that which is carefully designed by their spirit guides or familiar spirits in the form of spells. Uh, and, and, and music is a whole another area uh, that uh, employs these techniques. Po uh, popular music, uh, all, all popular culture, it's not just entertainment. It, it's, entertainment is not value free. It, it has ideological content. It presents a worldview that influences the people who are watching or listening. So uh, we, we've kind of we've got this disconnect, thinking that entertainment is harmless, when it's the most important uh, a delivery system of propaganda because it influences people without their conscious awareness, and that's the ultimate in, in controlling people in society is to do it without them being aware of it. You know what's crazy? It's a, I'm dropping an album, y'all, and I hope I hope y'all rock with me, right? You know what I'm saying? We gotta run that shit up, but I don't. I, I, I you gotta start. That make you look at people like even the ghostwriters. Why do they call them ghostwriters? Hmm. Yeah, I think it'd be deeper. Look, look, I don't want to get into all that, but look, just think about it. It is a lot of. I, I, I do have to admit, it is a lot of things that I do see in these live performances. They're just like, what? Out of all things to depict what you're talking about in this song. Why why y'all on stage doing that? At first I wasn't hip to all of the, you know, the 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 the, the signs and stuff that they were showing until people started pointing out. Then me, I got questions. So now I go research the stuff myself and I see it. Like, oh shoot. And it gets deeper. Then you see some of your favorite artists that you love and you didn't know the whole time that they were doing these things. Now my question is, are these people purposely in the studios doing this, coming up with spells and ways to do stuff like that? Or what do y'all think? I don't see no, I don't see no other way. But I, hey, y'all let me know. Just know, man. When I drop mine, I ain't I ain't I ain't I ain't doing none of that. It's gonna be straight creativity, um, straight from my mind, straight from the things that I've been through. And this is wild though. I, I wow. I see why some people don't want to be in the industry. I just I just rock out with y'all. I don't need to be, you know, with everybody else. You feel me? And you, you know, you can't have my booty. I'm like I'm I'm good on that. <laughs> See, I told you, watch us get around the fucking corner and that motherfucker be an actual fucking moon or sunlight or something. What the fuck? There's no way that's a fucking 
the moon. Oh, absolutely not. Did you not see it grow? Yeah. It was a speck. It was a fucking, like a, like a cluster. Yeah, it like boomed into whatever it was. You get a picture of it before the fall? Yes, I got yeah. a little bit of video, but not. I was looking at it like, what the fuck? Oh my God, there's no Look way. Look at that. There's no way that just grew like that, Robbie. And there was shit in front of it. What the? There's, what the? Oh my god. Dude, are we living in the Matrix? What just, in the fuck did we just witness? Did we just? I think. Over? I think. I think we just witnessed. My, I, I just. My something. eyeballs. I don't even think that's a moon. Look at it. Look at it. The the thing's move. It's changing again. See the bottom of it. It's too close, even at that. Can't read the sign. What the fuck? Look at the corner, it's like a bite's gone. The bat signal, look at it. It's dissipating, it's gonna disappear. Look at my phone. Look, look. Yeah. Look at it. Fuck. Yeah. It's gonna disappear. Look at it. These trees don't get out of the way. It looks like we're getting further what away the from fuck? it. Fuck. There's no I don't understand it. You just seen that just fucking show up look at it now. Like somebody took a bite out of that mug, right? right? It, it, these trees need to move. <laughs> Oh, they will move when we get past them. It'll be gone. Look. Oh. Yeah. Focus! Thank you. Come on. <sighs> I'm trying to be patient. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. When it's something like Dude, this, you need to focus. We got it, we got it. What the fuck was that? What the fuck did we just witness, Robbie? Did we really see the? Is that really the moon and what it ha what looks like when it turns? The sun. But how did it change? What the fuck? Yeah, that was very interesting. I ain't even gonna hold you. That that it could be some clouds in front of it, but that's just hard to explain, though, man. Let, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments down below. I've seen something similar. I didn't believe it until I saw it. Two sons. I thought it was some kind of internet hoax type deal, but with all that smoke out there, you can see all the the, the two suns reflecting. I don't know if that has something to do with the refraction of the. Ozone layer or what? I don't know what it means, but uh, tell me what it is. You're dealing with perspective. They've been trying to hide that with the, you know, with the clouds and stuff, cloud seeding and all that other stuff, right? But that's perspective. Some people, depending on the angle that you're at, can actually see it. It's uh, unusual. Come on now. I know what it is.
Here on Weather Command, back-to-back -back solar flares are headed for Earth, and that new is a double-edged sword, or that news. Uh, so on one hand, it could create the dazzling auroras that we're used to when it comes to solar flares, but on the other, there could be some fluctuations in the power grid. NOAA has issued a minor geomagnetic storm watch for tomorrow. So for most people, a geomagnetic storm, it's going to be something that you don't have to be too worried about. The watches, though, do help government agencies, power providers, even telecommunication companies, satellite operators to prepare to protect systems that are affected by space weather. Now, NOAA satellites are constantly monitoring the sun for activity, which helps the Space Weather Prediction Center issue forecasts. All newer NOAA GOES satellites, they use an instrument called the Solar Ultraviolet Imager, or SUVI, to record the sun in ultraviolet wavelengths. So it's not the visible way that we see the sun and the light, because it's the ultraviolet radiation that is dangerous. And so being under a geomagnetic stormwatch chain, it sounds probably well, scarier than what it really is, yeah. but we are heading toward a solar maximum. When Peace, fam. Much understanding, much gratitude and value to every last one of y'all. Hey, as you can see, we had like three solar flares hit today, but we had a big ass CME that hit the earth, right? And I'm about to show y'all something that's about to hit the earth on July 18th right now. Family, we got a cannibal CME that's about to hit the earth on like July 18th. Take a look at this shit. A cannibal CME is two CMEs, right? That's when one goes off, and then there's one that's following it that's way bigger that ends up engulfing that energy and making it one huge, huge CME with a crazy amount of geomagnetic storms that's going to hit high KP levels on the Earth, man. Notice they use the word cannibal, though. They real choice with these spells that they use, man. But they call this a cannibal coronal mass ejection. This is a quick visual of what that's gonna look like as well. So you see one seeing me go off, then you see the other one that's following right behind it that's a little bigger in scale. It's just gonna make both, that's gonna combine them both and make it a, a maximum energy. But like I was saying, there's no telling when it's gonna come. They say July 18th, it could come. Before that, it could come after, but this is directly earth facing. This is a huge amount of energy and these solar storms is, is gonna be the way how the power grid goes down. But this is huge family. So, you know, we're gonna see what happened with that. But you also know that a lot of energy is gonna be hitting this realm in between that time. Like I was saying, if you look in the middle, we had an M5, a very, you know, decent sized solar flare. We had two M2s back to back, um, seeing me impact detected, right? The solar winds are almost 500, man. So the KP levels are going to be through the roof, man. But like I be saying, man, the guys and the goddesses on the realm don't have nothing to go up. I still go outside, your daily routines, gathering that nature, that sun, all these things. You should really be going out there more when there's energy out there. You know? I say love y'all. And y'all remember when, uh, I, I, do I need to go back and show you how the videos and talk about the videos of uh, how grounded and stuff works? The more that you look, regardless of anything we do, this earth is going to continue to evolve and do what it's going to do. If you're not connected to this earth and where it's shifting to, say, for instance, shifting to 5G, just like an old computer, if you don't upgrade your software, that software or that computer, that device is not going to function the way that it needs to function. So you need to get out here in the sun soak up that soak up these energies and get used to it and involved with it or you're gonna get left behind that's a part of it but look let's keep going this bullshit right and blow up man blow up fuck i be trying to blow the ass up they're trying to block out the sun you see him I'm, i've been out here for like an hour or maybe two hours right i look up this shit crazy Bitch ass partner, they out here. She ain't X's and O's. Right, right, right. <laughs> Nigga. You can see how they are just attempting to block it off. Mind you, I just made these posts about on the West Coast how it's gonna be a heat wave. I understand why they trying to do this, but ain't y'all notice how lately it's been contrails? 
not chemtrail. Chemtrails is this thick ass shit right here, pause, that just stay up in the sky. We ain't been seeing that lately. It usually de dissipates as soon as it comes out. Now they, they are trying to, they are for sure trying not to absorb these rays. They going out their way, family. They trying to cloud us out. None of these clouds were out here. We're watching them make these fake ass clouds right here. That shit finna, that shit gonna spread, right? And you can tell they started on that side earlier today. Look at this bullshit. Look at this shit, man. Come on, bro. Hey, some people say that's still a conspiracy. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Mm -mm. Come on now. Conspiracy, right? What is that? What are they spraying out of the air? Just some air? Yeah, they spraying air into the air. Look, some stupid ass people. Hey, look, it is what it is, man. Continue. Look. If you don't care, just continue to go to your job. Come back home, be broke, and do it all over again. Just so you'd be able to save like $100 in a month. You know what I'm saying? Look, we got to wake up and see what the hell is going on. I've been there. Everybody's been there. A lot of people are trapped in, into that form of thinking. You, you know, uh, and thinking is very mute because they, they, they have you dumbed down so much that you spend the rest of your life working and dying for them while they get rich and they live according to how they want to live. But live, let's keep going though, while they poison us with this stuff right here. This is That's called slavery, people. Pay attention and stay Thanks for woke. joining us for CBN News Watch. I'm Mark Martin. Today, what would it be like if you lost power in your home, perhaps permanently? We'll hear why that could happen because of a surprise attack on the U.S. Plus, we'll look at the heavy flooding in Vermont and the heat wave affecting much you know of the saying? country. Along with how a change in diet brought a man from a wheelchair back to health in just three months. We'll have an interview also with Oscar winning actress Mira Servino from the faith based hit movie Sound of Freedom. It's all today on Newswatch. This is CBN Newswatch. We begin with the possibility of a devastating attack on the U.S. that could affect your home. The heat wave in parts of the country is straining the nation's aging electrical power grid and temporary brownouts may occur. But what would happen if the United States lost electricity permanently? Electromagnetic pulse bomb experts warn America's enemies are already getting ready to launch such a strike. And Gary Lane explains why one expert believes such an attack is inevitable. An electromagnetic pulse bomb, or EMP, is a nuclear weapon designed to explode high up in the atmosphere and knock out a country's electrical power grid. Hits the Earth's surface, feeds into our electrical wiring, it starts shorting out the entire power grid. If they launch three missiles, eastern, central, western United States, it would shut our grid down permanently. Historian Dr. William Forstgen is a New York Times best-selling author and expert on EMPs. His new novel is Five Years After, a political thriller about the aftermath of such an attack. Most people assume Russia or China would be the countries most likely to target the U.S. with an EMP. However, Forstgen believes North Korea is the more likely culprit. Nuclear weapons expert the late Peter Pry agreed. Five years before his death in 2022, Pry warned that Kim Jong-un's launch of a high-altitude ballistic missile was a test of North Korea's EMP capabilities against the United States. The Japanese and South Korean military uh, both described it as practicing for an EMP attack because it was... Uh, it was burst on ascent deliberately by the North Koreans when it was at an altitude so of about 71 this. kilometers. The higher the altitude of the missile, the wider the area of destruction. Pry explained how it would devastate an unprepared United States of America. Cars would be paralyzed. Airplanes could fall out of the sky. You'd have natural gas pipeline explosions, nuclear reactor overloads. 
And worst of all, if, the, if you had a protracted blackout, it would be a serious threat to the survival of the American people. Message. You feel me? Like, it's, it's a lot of different ways, man. Like, and, and they're going to try to disguise this. Y'all got to be hip, man. Look, y'all remember the dude that we showed on the channel as well? I got to keep bringing these things up because they tie into it. The young man that was showing people on TikTok how to harness their own electricity from the earth. Now, they tried to take him off of TikTok just, oh, probably because of, oh, this is, uh, they probably said something about, you know, it being dangerous. But that's not it. He was getting it from the earth. They stopped that because they don't want the masses to be independent and not dependent on a system that enslaves you. That's good. That's, we're going to continue. Real talk. Look, roll over. See, stop, stop. What the fuck? Go up. Go slow. Go. Oh my god. Nope. Y'all get it? No pun intended. Nope. What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, I was... States of consciousness. Hey, but these just conspiracy theories, you feel me? Looks. <laughs> That's just wow, bro. Like, look it up yourselves. That's what I tell you. Train principles are applied to induce sleep and is applied to a work environment to maintain a desired level of consciousness. It goes on to discuss how you can manipulate the brain. Crazy. So I was on Twitter this morning and saw this post. It's crazy. Go on Google Earth and try to get a measurement of Antarctica. It won't do it because it's a ring around us. <laughs> so naturally, I ran straight to Google Earth. I screen recorded everything I did. I sped it up because I really wanted to capture the shape of this wall. I mean, it always had these little spots or a spot missing. North Pole, kind of like a little missing puzzle piece the missing piece of the circle. Anyways, it's all a big conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that though? Like what, what what the hell is between your thing right there? What's going on? What you got right there? Anyways. But yeah, that's crazy. Flights that don't make sense, part two. Uh, this time let's try going from Argentina to India. We should be stopping off probably there, South Africa maybe, and then going up to India. I guess that would be the straightest path. Let's see what Google has to say. So right here, I've got uh, Argentina to Mumbai, India, and I'm going to hit search. There we go. One stop. Let's see the route. So from Argentina to Amsterdam. Okay, and then from Amsterdam to India. Let's go back to the map. Okay, so Google's quickest and most logical path is from Argentina all the way up through Europe 
and then back down to India. Instead of going like that, we're going like that. I wonder why. Let's check the other map. All right, we're back at the Gleason's map. We've got Argentina here, Europe here, India here. So we're going here through Amsterdam to India, straight line, once again. Hmm. Now I'm really beginning to think. Flights that don't make sense. Part Math ain't math. When you yeah. look into the ancient past or the Emerald Tablets, well, after the Great Flood, he talks about going back to the land of Kim, and he says rebuilding the civilization to a high level. So what that tells us is, oh, there was already a high-level civilization eons ago before the Great Flood that we know about. All these indigenous cultures all speak of this Great Flood that happened. And then what he says is after they build up Giza, he then told his people, that crew that came with him, to go around the planet and duplicate what we did here. So that's why when you go anywhere on the Earth, you're going to see similar structures, similar construction techniques, megalithic blocks, and all the alignments are going to be very similar because it was the same master architect that taught the world how to build these structures. Now, what's that doing on Mars? That's the last image taken by Spirit Rover before it went offline and never broadcast another image ever again. When was this taken? That Spirit Rover's last image, that was probably about uh, maybe almost 10 years ago now. Uh, Click on the, let's, let's look at the uh, source link from NASA's website. Oh, they took it off. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's an object um, that is really bizarre. Again, you look at the surrounding terrain, it didn't seem to match. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it went viral. This one made the news and everything. It made all the mainstream news channels. And what happened, so go to that face, but these tubes are amazing. They've been on the news. These tubes run for miles. They're huge, they're massive. They, um, they, they actually are these tubes that run in and out and all around the planet in certain areas. Uh, and they're hollow on the inside, and they're not rocks, clearly. And uh, what's interesting is, if you see where that arrow is, down from the arrow, you see where two tubes kind of almost run into each other. They have these ribbed type things right. that are keeping the tubes, uh, the structure open, so it's hollow on the inside. The purpose of it, nobody has a, nobody has a clue. Huh. Yeah. And they Footage that I came across today reveals just that it is something very mysterious looking. It does not look exactly like the moon. It may be, but it's really huge. You're going to have to just see it to believe it. I'm going to let you guys watch it. Let me know what you think. I do believe this is very near where the firmament meets the earth. I could be wrong, but it's just really cool footage. And I want to share it before it gets deleted. <laughs>
message. The origins of the Kemetic people are black people. King Tutankhamun, right, Tutankhamun. Thutmose IV, which would have been his great-grandfather. Thutmose IV was the eighth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt, who ruled in approximately the 14th century BC. Men Ke Perur means established in forms of rape. He was the son of Amenhotep II and Tia. So he was the son of Amenhotep II, who was also a black pharaoh, and Tia, or Taye, but Taye was not a queen. That's why they didn't name her as a queen. Taye actually was a concubine of Thutmose IV. In the oceans. Uh -huh. That's how you get to the outer realms. Uh -huh. So the real outer space is beyond the Antarctica and deep within our oceans. That's why if you look at their outer space missions, they're actually in water floating around in water somewhere in Las Vegas, Nevada, Levada, and deep in uh, the Colorado. They ain't out of space. That's why if you look, it's so many people now putting up showing that these these space shuttle missions is fake as hell, man. Mm -hmm. Show, showing you mm -hmm. that they ain't never been out of space. If you really want to go out of space, get your ass in a submarine and go deep within the water. That's the true outer space. And there's so many different alien bases and military bases underwater and in the actual ground they're hollowing out mountains now they're in they're hollowing out mountains this is you can google this and they're making inside of mountains underground bunkers and underground military bases mm -hmm. so if they're doing that to the mountains imagine what they're doing underground in, in space in the water so if you want to go outer space go deep go deep sea diving you said it's aliens yeah, aliens. And all alien mean is, so Elyon is a Hebrew word. That's where they get aliens from. It's really El Elyon. Uh -huh. And that just means of the Most High God. Uh, technically, we are aliens. Gotcha. And that's why they studying us. That's why they stealing our melanin. Uh -huh. That's why they trying to understand the functioning of our biological vehicles. That's why they can't understand our circadian rhythm, our biological clocks. We are, diff we are the most different species of humans that the planet ever, ever, ever had. Mm -hmm. We're so different than them. Our teeth are shorter than theirs. Their teeth are wider and longer. Mm -hmm. Their canines are longer than our canines. Their hydrochloric acid inside their stomach is hotter than ours. You're talking about white people. I'm talking about white people. Huh. They produce an acidic enzyme in their mouth. We produce an alkaline enzyme in our mouth called amulase and ambulose and trypsin. They can break down proteins and meats. Our stomachs can't break down proteins and meats because the pepsin and the hydrochloric acid doesn't get hot enough to break it down. They, they digest the system can go through something called putrefactions or can't mm -hmm. ours go through something called fermentation uh, a lot of them grow tails they hair grow towards the earth or towards the ground our grow it curls and it grows towards the sun mm -hmm. we have high melanin content inside of our melanin we have something called selenium they have low melanin content inside their melanin they have something called ammonia mm -hmm. and they have a high sulfur con concentration inside their cells and that's why when they get hot they actually, when it get hot outside, they get colder. Or if it get cold outside, they get hotter. That's why you can see a white man running in Daisy Duke shorts in, in the middle of the winter when it's 20 below freezing. He got on a tank top and- I ain't gonna hold you, so my white folks, that is funny as hell. Look, we gotta laugh at each other too. It's, it's hilarious, but I do, <laughs> that shit's so true though. Like I be, it be winter time. I'm not, I love to go running, but Look, man, I'm not going to run in the cold, though. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Like, but you see a white person out there with some shorts and a tank top. We're out there running middle of the uh, winter. Y'all just built different. But we got to laugh. We, bro, look, we can't. People got to get out their feelings about all this shit. We are different, but we're here together. <laughs> Let's deal with what we got going on, man. Let's figure out a solution to all the bullshit. Let's get it. And he hot. Or, <laughs> or when they get hot and they get around water, it changes in the sulfur mixed with ammonia and it gives off this this actually uh canine smell. And that's why they say they smell like wet dogs. You see, <laughs> I'm, this is all scientifically proven. Hey, come here. Look at this huge, this huge freaking square. That's not normal. This situation just flipped the switch in my mind. I need y'all to listen real carefully. The propaganda that's happening with the Sound of Freedom movie is reverse psychology. Just for my safety, this video is for educational purposes, entertainment, not real scripted, all that and above. They're using our concern for human trafficking to create psychic attacks. Stay with me. Okay, so you know how TikTok is the hotspot for us spiritually aware people. Them giving out free tickets. 
them saying that the major film production companies are not accepting the movie. There are signs that are showing that Tim Ballard is a Freemason. This is him in a picture, but if you look closely at the tie, it looks like Freemason symbols. I don't know about y'all, but I do not trust anything with Freemasonry. I've become convinced that this microchipping program is the only way to effectively protect our kids in the digital age. Get your kids chipped now. Now the spark that actually made me think more deeply about this movie is this. Isis Wisdom commented under the video that I had posted about the movie. And she said they put something in the movie. The more you guys talk about this and share this trailer, the more people will become attacked. They are using reverse psychology on the people. I was in deep thought about what she said. So I'm going on a deep dive trying to investigate as much as I can. I found this tweet. Tim Barlard. Tim Ballard, a CIA Freemason, makes a movie financed by Carlos Slim, ties with the Clinton Foundation. So then I had to look up, who the heck is Carlos Slim? This is the richest man in Mexico. Then I'm seeing pictures like this. We got Bill Gates. We got him with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. And there it is, ties with the Clinton Foundation. It just gets worse for y'all. Look at this. Then I started to think, why would this man fund the Sound of Freedom movie when he is close with the people who are a part of the things that's happening in the Sound of Freedom movie? The Clinton Foundation? Bill Gates, the Biden family. So now I'm just like, this can't be true, right? He did not fund it. Just because there's a tweet online, you, you, it's not factual, right? A great group of people have come together to, to, to invest in this in this production. Uh, with some of them, the, the, the Carlos Slim family is, is, is involved. What the f So now I'm starting to see why there was a reason why I wanted to cover my head up when I was talking about this situation. I have to put my scarf on for this topic of discussion because I'm an empath and I will feel the world's entire pain just by this topic. Okay, so we have to go deeper. So now it's like, what's the purpose? Why would they fund them exposing this? Now, Isis Wisdom then went live later saying this. So they put these little propaganda pieces out there because they're looking for a particular type of audience. The audience that they're looking for are those so-called woke individuals. But if you're woke, then you would have had enough discernment not to get caught up in the matrix. So what they're wanting to do is for people to talk about this thing, to spread the trailer out there, do as much things as possible. For those of you... I'm using myself as an example because I got played into the narrative of thinking that there was something good happening in the movie industry. False. Next video, I'm going to go deeper into the ties with Elon Musk, why they would fund this movie, and what all of this has to do with AI. Y'all stay tuned and stay dangerous. Something in the COVID vaccines seems to be growing within the recipient's vascular system. Anomalous objects are being discovered in the dead bodies of the vaccinated by embalmers. Y'all didn't believe me. Horrific things being grown inside the veins and arteries. These are not blood clots, and they appear to be some sort of organic material with small crystals and extremely thin wires made up of what looks like reptilian scales. Reptilian scales. Mark of the beast. All of the deadly side effects we are seeing today. What the mainstream media is currently spinning as sudden adult death syndrome. We do not know what these things are, but they are being found by embalmers and coroners everywhere. Except pretty much all of them are too afraid to speak out. Hey, they said scales, right? We talk a lot about some motherfuckers with some scales, don't we? You remember what it said in the Anunnaki's like final warning to humanity, right? When they said that if you have that alien technology in you, the Gray's technology in you, that you're not gonna be able to do what? Y'all go do y'all research, man, and, 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 and follow up and check on that type of stuff, man, before you put it in your butt. But luckily, you got stuff to, you know, overcome that, you know? I don't want to get too deep in it. You know how they be on here. You got stuff where you can, you know, get the metals out your body. You can detox your body, people. Y'all keep waking. Message. Y'all wondering how much food is really being hidden from y'all, huh? Y'all wondering how much food is really being hidden, huh? I know it. Underground, though. I'm underground, though. Gonna make me happen here. Let me get up out of here. I get ticklish. Me, I'm about to be nosy. Knowing me, I'm about to be nosy, though. Like, it went deeper over here some more. Like, it's gonna go underground over here. Like, it's a big hole right here. Oh, this they little, this they little pond. 
that little hunt up. This that little pond over here. This that little pond over here. Crazy. Okay. Some ancient shit all going over on here, right? <laughs> they water pump. That's what that underwater water look like. I bet just some living in there. A little gold spot right there. Look, 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 look. Look like gold right there, don't I know. Hey, man, I'm under the ground, man. Big chip, man. Under the ground. It feel good. Under the ground. <laughs> I'm under the ground, boy. What is that? But yeah. Message, but some of y'all just hey, some of y'all just don't get it. As much as you show people, they just they too they're too scary. Oh, that doesn't exist, but he just showed you again. I we done showed you like for a whole like oh, shit. We've been doing this for a long time. You know, like the tunnels are there, hollowing out mountains are there, you know. As much as y'all don't want this to be true, don't make don't 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 mean it's gonna disappear. There's stuff happening and with your taxpayer money, don't you want to know what's going on? What's happening with that? Where all the food is going to? Where are they putting the 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 the, 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 the where where's the untouched water? Why are you going to be? Most of y'all, you know, what I'm saying y'all y'all seen the movie uh, Greenland? They got a list of people that's going to be able to survive something if it ever happens. You know, we have a solar flare that's going to, you know, quote unquote. Eradicate everything, right? Why you not gonna be on that list? But your money was used to fund this stuff. I'll leave it right there. Let's keep going. Now, brother, why ain't gravity pulling them bubbles down? Them bubbles floating up. Where gravity yeah, at in this yeah, equation? Density. Yeah, density. Not, not so. Oh, so, so density is powerful than gravity now. When density, so, oh, so let me ask you a question. No, no, it's just the oh, force pulling Wait, on no, the water. No, brother, you need to stop and listen to my question. When is when right. does density decide to pull up, and when does gravity decide to pull down? That's my question. No, no, it's both at the same time. Obviously. So, so, so why ain't gravity winning this battle but with these bubbles? Because think about what I'm about to tell you now. Gravity is keeping all of the ocean water held to the earth. That is a lot of water weighing amount that we can't even fathom. But it can't keep these bubbles held down. I want to hear your explanation of why gravity's failing and density is winning right now. Because the water is heavier than the air. So it orders. Okay, like, so like so I guess said, so. Hold on, no, 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 no. I got your falls. answer, brother. That was the answer. That's it. The the air is lighter than the water. Guess what you just did, though? You debunked the theory of gravity with the law of density, and I'm finna prove to you that you just did it. 
density doesn't need gravity. Gravity needs density. And that was what just happened right now. See, gravity only explains why shit fall. That's why Isaac Newton created that dumbass theory with an apple falling on his head. They should have checked to see if the apple damaged his goddamn brain because if he thought that gravity was a force pulling the apple down, but it didn't pull the clouds down and this fool if he thought that this force of gravity was picking on one apple in the tree but letting the rest of the apples stay up there like a goddamn dummy bro. some no if you cut me off you got the goddamn go don't cut me off man i'm talking like i was saying he was a dumbass if he didn't know that this particular apple failed Right, and it got heavier than the other apples, dude, and it's and the tree could no longer sustain it. You know what that's called? The law of density. You know what the law of density is not? A theory, which is what gravity is. You know what laws can do? Stand alone. You know what theories can't do? Stand alone. Which is why when we ask you about the bubbles, you got to say our argument, which is density. We never bring up gravity for nothing. If you ask us why the rock fell in to the water, we're gonna say because the rock was heavier than the water. Now you using that explanation to explain why the bubbles go up, but you won't use it to explain why the rock go down like a goddamn dummy when the damn law of density explains them both. You choose to just use one part of the law of density, which is why when it's time for you to explain why shit go up, you abandon gravity and have to go to the law of density. But a flat earther, we never have to abandon a law of density, even when somebody asks us why shit go down. Because this one law explain them both. It's a law, not a goddamn theory. Okay, so you said with the bubbles, right? I say so you're one. saying I that the gravity one. stops, and what I'm saying that gravity stops when it comes to density. But I never said that. I'm just saying gravity is always working. And then you have the bubbles. The, the I, I didn't say working. nothing about gra Listen what I'm saying. If gravity, I know gravity, according to your model, is always working. That ain't the question. The question is, gravity only explain why things fall. It don't explain why they rise up. We can put, play, play around with the law of gravity, because with, with, with the theory of gravity, it say what goes up must come down. That ain't true. Some things go up and stay up and never come back down, and that's, that, that is explained in the law of density. But if your theory only explain why things drop and is only a focus on dropping, then when somebody who embraces the theory of gravity, when somebody asks them, why did this air bubble float, they start teaching density when they should have been teaching that law to explain why the apple failed too because the apple is heavier than the air around it exactly. so if i drop the goddamn apple it's gonna drop but if i drop the helium balloon it's gonna rise because the helium gas is lighter than the air that's around it i ain't gonna hold you man like this right here hey classic crazy dope video you feel me full of information for y'all to go out here and do your own damn research but look man hopefully we had a good time here man hopefully you know you found something that you put a new uh crease in your brain you learn something you know and then go out there and, and like i said don't believe everything you see on these videos go out here and find out for yourself though and then come back and let me know too as well you feel me and that's how we grow as a people it's not just about me the person here, 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 here. It's about all of us as a collective, a collective consciousness. But look, man, I love y'all. Make sure y'all out here doing y'all due diligence, man, raising y'all vibrations, taking care of your body, your spirit, your soul, and your family. But like I always say, man, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. And I'm out, though. Wow.